case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1988, the United States Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit heard the case of Portland Feminist Women's Health Center v. Advocates for Life, Inc. The case centered on whether the government could regulate where and how people exercised their right to free speech in order to protect public safety and order, as long as the regulation was specific and did not censor speech content. The lawsuit was initiated after a right-to-life advocacy group protested outside a medical facility, disrupting medical procedures and interfering with access to the center. This led to the district court granting a preliminary injunction against the group, banning them from obstructing access, making excessive noise, trespassing, damaging property, or interfering with public utilities. The group, unhappy with the injunction, appealed the decision, arguing that it lacked an objective decibel level for prohibited noisemaking. Both the nonprofit organization that operated the medical facility and the protesting group, consisting of multiple individuals and associations, were involved in the lawsuit. The medical facility sought equitable relief and damages on various charges, such as conspiracy to prevent exercise of federal constitutional rights, violation of Oregon's civil racketeering statutes, and intentional infliction of emotional distress. The court ultimately upheld the preliminary injunction issued by the district court with a modification. It prohibited noise that significantly interfered with medical services. The legal expenses related to the decision were borne by each side separately. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSE.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class. 